Hello, Pisces besties. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you are doing fantastic. I wanted to hop on here. Sorry it's a day late. Things came up, but this will be your end of April reading. So April 15th through the 30th, what can you expect? We are moving into Taurus season here on the 20th, which is my birthday. Yes, I am a 420 baby. I would appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe as my birthday present for free. And we're going to get to the bottom of what you need to know for the rest of April. Please check out your moon rising or Venus sign if you want more in-depth answers or go spy on another sign. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But let's go ahead and get started. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God, energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do my Pisces need to go ahead and know? Please and thank you, Spirit, for the rest of April. What do they need to know? Okay, whoever ran away from this connection, if you are single or if it's a friendship, it was a blessing in disguise. They were a snake around you, betrayal, enemy, frauds. I used to trust you very much in their ego. They were holding you back. They were trying to prevent money opportunities. This could possibly be a co-worker. They were trying to, you know, stop your bag, stop your coin, which we do not appreciate. As a Taurus, that is not Taurus approved. But you're going to get some receipts on this situation. So you're going to figure out maybe you're going to get, you know, a text message that wasn't accidentally meant to send to you, a screen grab. But, you know, you're definitely going to see someone's true colors. Their feelings are going to be revealed to you. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? I trusted this person. But they're deep in regret. I know they're wishing that they didn't do that but it's a little too late to apologize i think you're focused in on your future queen or king of pentacles energy let me be your provider tour season will be good for you we are in a an eclipse season so that is a transformational time so put the money where your mouth is start that business walk the walk and talk the talk don't get greedy, bestie. Don't get codependent because I'm telling you, you have a lot of blessings coming your way, but you need to make moves in silence. Keep it on the low. Hush, if you won't tell, I won't tell. So definitely it's a situation where you got a lot of good things coming your way. You're trusting your intuition. You're being in your higher D self. It's everything you can ask for and more. You're very connected to God, universe, source, and you know, really trusting that gut. Because of this, you're the golden child. You're very much protected. And you're going to get a lot of blessing and opportunities coming your way, including in love. So be the bigger person. You know, walk away. You know, really just focus that time, energy, effort on you. You might be a little bit in hermit mode right now. But you might just be on that hustle, masculine energy, thinking with your head or your head, bestie. You're walking the walk and talking the talk. You're not afraid to cut people out of your life. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be, but by Felicia, you're pissed off, you're ready to fuck everyone and everything up, and you're ready to be on social media and give them a show, bestie. You know, see what I'm doing when with whom, see me have this glow up. I'm ready to celebrate, I'm ready to have a good time, hang out with my friends, and if I have to go into hermit mode, like I was saying earlier, be the loner, focus in on me, I'm willing to do that because I trust that there's a bigger plan out there for me, and I know my worth and what I have to offer, and you're going to be protected, like I said, this is reaffirmed, you know, I think we have a whole badass spirit team up there that looks out for us, but you got a secret admirer coming your way, someone's going to tell you how they feel, express how they feel, speak up for their truth. I'm fighting for you remembering this connection. So it could be an Aries Leo Sag, does not have to be. But I think, you know, you might not even be focused on love. You're just focused on the hustle, the money be looking good, Pisces. And just remove those toxic, low vibrational people out of your life. Cleanse your space, cleanse your house, cleanse your office, do what you need to do. But let's jump to the Beach Time Soul Oracle, get some more clarification. What do you my Pisces need to go ahead and know, yeah, you're no longer dealing with this codependent, this obsession. You were blocking yourself. You were restraining yourself. You were dealing with lower vibrational, maybe toxic energies with the seduction card. Sorry, the cards jumped all the way over there. But you know what you want. This could be, you know, just hooking, in, hooking up, feeling out the... Um, 
options out there for you, which you have plenty of, you know, you definitely are making a decision to go forward on some dates. Sorry, Oliver's shaking the bed. He is the Leo, my dog. Um, he's in the mood to play, but you're putting yourself out there and you're giving yourself these opportunities opportunities. Maybe you're going for dumplings. Um, Ollie's a dumpling toy. Um, but with the Cupid's arrow, how faith love is coming. There could be a surprise date and opportunity. And yeah, double confirmation on getting rid of the snake in your life, the grim reaper, you know, people really, you know, don't have the best intentions when it's not self-serving. I think it's very narcissistic, but behavior personally, but you're building this foundation, this security, not only financially, but being able to go through the lifetimes and the opportunities and the endurance and being flexible, go with the flow, change, adapt, and really manifest what you need to do. Kisses, unconditional love is coming, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. You definitely have the sun card coming out. So this is the happiest card in the deck. You're enjoying each other fully, experiencing the moment. And whoever made you feel like you were not enough, you are kicking to the curb. You're not dealing with it. You are like, I'm not dealing with this heartbreak. You were a karmic energy. And now I'm in my abundance era, besties. So you are having a positive mindset. Things are looking up. You're getting what you want. You're really speaking to, you know, that energy of, um, I want it, I got it. And, you know, you're reflecting things back with the golden mirror. Just be careful that, you know, you don't get caught up in any love bombing, a one-sided relationship out here. Because, you know, it's very easy when you're putting yourself out there. But endings bring new beginnings. You're ready for this liberation. I think there's one final test out here before you're able to go ahead and make those new memories. But like I said, put yourself first. That is going to be the situation and make moves in silence. Let's jump to the Rebel Oracle deck. Get some Savage Truths. What do you need to know? Okay, yes. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some alone time and you know why. Exactly. Someone doesn't have the best intentions for you, but you need to take a fucking trip. Go see some shit. Do some new things. Talk to people cooler than you. Definitely a situation that that project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. So really, like I said, take advantage of this energy, this momentum to walk the walk and talk the talk. Chase your goals and let go. It's time to let go. Move the fuck on. Leave that ex in the past. No, they were not the love of your life, bestie. And realize when you're being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. Don't fall in that trap. Cut out that toxic person because I'm telling you, love. Get some, give some. It'll cheer your ass up. Maybe it's with a Leo since Ollie J wanted to join us over here. But... Um, definitely paying attention to the energy you're giving out is what you're going to receive and, you know, love yourself. Step away from that crazy making diet. Kale and sparugula dyslexia tastes like ass. Eat some yummy shit, bacon, um, snacks, beer, get some. And yeah, you've got an apology coming your way. Fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. Own your shit. If you need to apologize, you need to apologize, Bessie. If someone's coming forward to apologize to you, they will. And what the hell are you waiting for? If you're waiting for a sign, well, here fucking is. Make moves in silence, I said, and don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be lying, sneaking bastards. Thoughts in two ways in one. Let me know, you know, you're ready to claim this abundance. Put 888 in the comments below if you made it this far. But let's get some zodiac signs. Who's going to impact your life, Pisces, in the rest of April. Sorry, all this being crazy. This could be a friend, a relationship, the person you need to walk away from, that love interest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. But let's get some zodiac signs. Okay. Yeah, you got Sagittarius and Leo, so a lot of fire sign energy. We got Taurus and Capricorn, so earth sign energy. We are moving into Taurus season. You're showing up as yourself, Pisces, so in a very prominent situation, you're in that self-love era, as well for air, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I pulled this earlier. I think this might be the sketchy person just saying, let me know if you have one of those in your life, 
Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I would truly appreciate it. Help your girl out. We're on the road to 10K and it'll be an early birthday gift to me. I love you. Take care of yourself and make those moves in silence. I'm telling you that is going to be the most important lesson of the month. As long as you follow that, you will be successful, Pisces. And until next time, remember you're a bad bitch or a bad king. Bye, loves.